Shall we begin? In fact, we have only just begun. What did you say her name was again? It's Samantha Carter. You used to call me Sam. Oh, Sam. Please, just... Just tell me that this isn't real. Please, believe me. No. the power. You were about to strike, but she stopped you. No, I don't believe you. You can make me see whatever you want. That's just a trick. You know it's true. Everything seems real. Feelings, sensations. It takes one of the most tragic moments in my life and it plays it over and over again. Maybe that's your strongest memory. It's like you're actually there in your own past. And then suddenly everything seems wrong. Your mind gets all twisted. Her thoughts, her memories, even her emotions, they are not meaningless to me. It's just so confusing. Images and faces, the fragments of thoughts and feelings. I do not wish to harm you or destroy Earth, for that matter. I could have done that already if I so desired. You're saying you'll leave Earth untouched? I promise you that. And your life. I mean, it could be there. Somewhere in my subconscious. But I think we must be in some sort of advanced recreation being pumped into our minds by those machines. There was a gold on Natu. Not Sokar. He was, um... Let's just say he was less than attractive. I know his name, I, just, I can't find it. But I get this... horrible, sick feeling when I remember him. Something happened between him and Jolinar. Something worse than the torture and pain. Something Jolinar never wanted Martouf to find out about. Is that true? Shari. Is that true? It took a while to figure out. Fortunately, you were too distracted to notice. I'm sorry. More sorry for yourself, it appears, than for Shari. Then I'm sorry. We were trying to help. You should never have told me. I'm sorry, Sam. So now what? You done? I am not done, Daniel Jackson.